Hey, welcome back Intermediate Algebra. So today's Khan Academy is graph quadratics in standard form. So you will notice that these are given to you in standard form and they're going to give you some graph. This is not the graph you're looking at or you have, this is called your vertex dot right here. And then this is going to end up being your Y intercept dot right up here. Okay, so you have a vertex dot and a y-intercept dot. And we've got to position those in the correct spot. First of all, the y-intercept dot right up here should be an easy one. Because that's given to you right here. Your y-intercept is when x equals 0. So if these equal 0, then your y-intercept will equal 7. So we know we're going to put one dot right here. The question is, where does the vertex dot go? Okay, so I'm going to actually put this out, and it's going to graph for you, but I want to present y. So here's my y-intercept dot. Now we need to find this vertex and how to get to that vertex. So what we have to do is we've got to take this standard equation and put it into vertex form. So again, we're going to isolate these two. Is there a number that these two have in common? Or we're just going to divide them both by 4. Okay, so we're going to pull the 4 out of both of these, leaving x squared plus 2x right here, okay? Then if you remember the formula where your c term has to equal half of your b term squared. Well, if your b term now is 2x, half of that would be 1, and 1 squared would be 1. So we need this to be the 4 that we pulled out, half of our b term squared. Again, half of 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1. And then the question is, how, where did this one come from? So what, remember what you do is you take this number, you square it, 1 squared is 1, and then multiply that by the number in front of the parentheses. 1 times 4 is 4. So we've added, technically when we did this, we added 4 to our equation. Well, to take care of that, if you add 4, you can also then subtract 4 to keep it equal. And when I subtract 4 from 7, I end up at 3. That doesn't make sense. We'll get we'll do another example. Now remember your coordinates here. It's the opposite of this. So the opposite of positive 1 is negative 1. So we move 1 in the negative direction for the x coordinate. And the y coordinate goes up 3. So over 1, up 3, and that's where that is. And that's how you graph that. Let's do one more here. Okay. So here's this one right here. Okay. First step is we need to take a 2 out of both of these. What will be left over is x squared minus 4x. Hopefully you can see that when I divide every, both of these terms by 2, I'll have x squared minus 4x. So I want you to envision this as a negative 4x right now. What is half of negative 4? Hopefully you're going to say it's negative 2. Okay. So we're going to put inside this parenthesis the negative 2, which is half of our new b term. And that's, again, after we divided both of those two terms by 2. So we divided both of these by 2. That's where this came from. We then took half of the b term, which was negative 4, and that's now negative 2. And now we have to adjust our c term. So what is negative 2 squared? Hopefully you're saying, well, that would be positive 4. And that's correct. Positive 4 times 2 is what? Hopefully you're saying that's 8. So by doing this right here, we've added 8 to the equation. So how can I do the opposite if I don't want to add 8? If, I'm, if I've already added 8, but I don't want to add 8, then what do I must, I must do what else? And hopefully you're saying, well, you take away 8. That's correct. So I need to take away 8 from this positive 3. And what is 3 minus 8? It would be negative 5. And that's where this comes from. Okay? So we are going to take our y-intercept is positive 3. Our vertex is the opposite of this, so positive 2, negative 5. We're going to graph those two points. Here's my positive 3 right here for the y-intercept. I went over 2, down 5, and that's where the vertex point is. So this is called your vertex form again. You've done this before. This is called your vertex form. So you first take your y-intercept, you then put in vertex form, you find the vertex, and that's how you do this con. Good luck, guys. I'll see you on Google Hangouts. Bye-bye.